Well, this hour, parts of Australia will be able to witness a rare astronomical event which will plunge a small town in WA into complete darkness. Our reporter, Crystal Wu, is live for us from the Perth Observatory. Crystal, talk us through what's going to happen. Well, Ash, in less than 20 minutes, the skies in Perth will start to dim. We are expecting to experience a partial eclipse, which occurs when the moon uh, partially blocks the sun. Now, up the coast uh, in Western Australia, in the small town of Exmouth, they will experience a total solar eclipse when the sun completely disappears behind the moon, plunging the town into total darkness for about a minute. And this will occur at about 11.29 a.m. local time. Here in Perth, only 71% of the sun uh, will be blocked from the moon, so we are expecting the skies to dim, but it won't go completely dark. The sky will start to darken, the moon's disk will start to cover the sun, and then at 11.29 it will completely cover the sun, plunge Exmouth into darkness, they'll be able to see the sun's atmosphere, maybe a few of the brighter stars in the sky, and a minute later the moon will start to move away from the sun. Now, other cities around the country will also be experiencing a partial eclipse. In Broome, 89% of the sun will be covered. In Darwin, 81%. In Perth, 71%. In Melbourne, Sydney and Canberra, they'll only get about 11 or 10% of the sun covered. And in Hobart, 5% of the sun will be covered. Now, for those lucky enough to witness the event, it will be an, an incredible experience. But there are some health and safety tips to bear in mind. Our Sky News meteorologist, Alison Osborne has the details. Now, advice, do not look at the solar eclipse because you are still looking at the sun. That is not safe. You should only use specialised glasses or viewing equipment. Binoculars and normal sunglasses will not cut it. With less than one minute of total darkness expected for most areas, it's not safe even during this period. You don't want to get caught out and do damage to your eyes, but otherwise, enjoy. Ash, the town of Exmouth has been preparing for this big day for months. All the hotels, motels and caravan parks are sold out, all booked out. The town has also constructed a dedicated viewing platform about 30 kilometres outside of Exmouth for about 3,000 uh, star geeks. This event will not only attract space geeks from all over the world, it's an opportunity for the small town of Exmouth to put itself on the world map and there's no doubt the preparation will all be worth it in the end. Yeah, and I'm sure Exmouth is rising to the occasion. Crystal Wu, thank you.